If you do drive through Pittsburgh, you might notice more and more neon signs popping up. KOIM's Lonnie Walton tracked down one of the companies responsible. He shows us how these iconic signs are made. Here at Sign Brothers, we do a little bit of everything, but uh, there's not very many businesses around that do neon, and that is something that we focus on. Josh Young is the graphic manager at Sign Brothers. He says finding a neonist, the person who creates neon lights, may be a little difficult. We have an in-house neon uh, neonist, and he bends the neon right here at Sign Brothers. That's right, meet Chris Laforte, the store's only neon. He learned the trade from his late father. He says he enjoys making all types of signage. Well, they come, tell, usually tell me what they want, and I can sit down and draw it up. Um, I can paint and draw, and I, I drew that out, drew these out. Now, this is the place where all the production takes place, but watch out. Laforte says it can get a little hot. It gets really hot back here, so we have to sh I have to shut off the fires for a little bit and turn them back on. Is this, is this the way it is? Frank Caputo from Jim's Steak and Chop House says he changed the signage a little, but keeping its nostalgic value is a must. The sign is, uh, it still had the original uh, neon um, uh, tubes in it, and we had them redone. We had the sign repainted and all the interior wiring redone. Both Young and LaForte say they love their jobs, but they still have to keep a look out for certain things. The hardest part of my job is trying not to get cut or burned. And there's one that really inappropriate sign <laughs> they asked me for, but I don't think you can put that on TV. Reporting <laughs> in Pittsburgh, I'm Lonnie Walton, KOAM News. Young says he can't wait to do more projects throughout the four states, keeping the neon nostalgia alive.